handstand. Do it, do it. Press it, press wow. it. Yes, oh, wow. yes. Get what it, get it. Yeah. We brought together seven yoga instructors. I'm a yoga instructor. 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 One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire prize. Who is the odd one out? I'm gonna go straight for the jugular. Yoga teachers, there's the eight limb path of yoga. If you teach yoga, you should know the eight limbs of yoga. We're gonna go in order, starting with you down the line. What is the first one? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Niyamas. Okay, what do you got? Uh, I don't know Sanskrit. Well, in English then. Oh, I've only really worked at like core power yoga. And, and they don't like, cover the no. philosophy with you? Okay. The third one's the asana. Pranayama. I don't know it in order, but there's yama. Yeah, good. Okay, cool. What do you got? Uh, Pratyahara. Yes! She obviously was prepared, but then on the other hand, I'm like, okay, maybe she's been Googling a lot of yoga things. They took all the ones that I wanted to say. <laughs> there's three more! Can you tell me which three? Do I need to tell you? Sure, if you want to. <laughs> if you want to. Well, I now have my idea about who the mole might be. Or maybe it's you if you... Dharna, Dhyana, Samadhi. So, I teach yoga can, all day, every day, so I know like, this. I like your crystal. Which chakra is that for? <sighs> for your um, crown, right? How long you been doing yoga for? Pretty much my whole life. What about you? You're lucky quiet. Me? Mm -hmm. oh, just... Press, press, press. Every time I looked at her, she looked away, so I felt like she was up to something. How long ago was your yoga teacher training? Ooh, I might be in school right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Does that make you? Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent right question. <laughs> ask it, ask it. Well, looks like the game's <laughs> over. <laughs> He seemed to be searching for answers and didn't really know what he was talking about. Leo was most suspicious to me, mostly because of the shorts he was wearing. Um, I feel like I don't see a lot of male instructors wear shorter, tighter shorts. I think because I have a gold cap on my tooth and I'm 6'4", they probably thought I played basketball or something. This is round two, the yoga round. Cool, we're gonna begin in a downward facing dog. Feet are at least hip width, fingertips are spread. Pick up your right leg up and back. Knee to nose when you exhale. Hold it, squeeze, bend, maybe arm balance. Maybe extend, maybe pick up. Maybe fly, maybe not. Beautiful practice, but I didn't hear teaching. Let's start in tabletop. So stack your shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees. Inhale, cow, look up, exhale, cat. Really great if you're sitting for long periods of time. Maybe sway your hips side to side. Make circles. Yeah, get it. Yeah. <laughs> really warming up the body. I am not getting eliminated. I'm not. So bring it, girl. Bring I'm, it. Yeah, I'm gonna be kind of a yoga ass, and I'll just. Uh, Don't worry, you're not the only one. <laughs> we're just gonna go. Handstand. Do it. Do it. Press it. Press it. Yes. Yes. Get it. Get it. Yes. We did it. <laughs> Fit. <laughs> they give you superpowers. They do. Okay, oh. that's your standard flow. Yeah, and you've got the breath going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I kind of wanted to see more from her. I also wanted to see her talk through uh, her flow as well. Just do my favorite. It's a good It's delicious. Mmm. <laughs> 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 have a class. <laughs> I'm gonna talk us through 
uh, one of my favorite arm balances called Ekapada Bakasana or one-legged crow. But my favorite way to come in is from a short downward facing dog. Take one leg up, bring it to the back of your arm, find the place on the back of the tricep where there's the least amount of wiggle. Begin to bend the elbows and continue to shift, 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 shift until your back leg gets light. Then maybe you can lift the back leg up, right? And then maybe hop it back to your chaturanga from there. Leo's was iffy, Nora's was iffy, Jess's and Aurora's. Jess seemed a little bit more timid about the performance aspect. Starting now, for every time all of you vote out someone that is not the mole, the prize money will be reduced by half. Half? So if everyone feels confident that you already caught the mole, you can end the game now. But if the majority has doubt, the game will continue. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. I, I thought it was Aurora, and I thought we got her out, and that's why I wanted to end. Yeah, I thought it was her too. She didn't talk through it. Yeah, well, Nora didn't, didn't talk through anything either. But she did some crazier. Like, it wasn't basic. But, yeah. <laughs> you know? okay, but the tricky thing is that anybody can be a yogi. Be doing and teaching are two very yeah. different things. Yes. Okay, so my question is, what's the hardest part of being a yoga teacher? And don't tell me that it's teaching the class, because we all know that's not the hardest part. Living, really living yoga the yoga, speaking the philosophy, and then actually yeah. embodying it. That's what yeah. I tell my classes, is like, you know, we're not just walking down the street, we can practice yoga while we're doing that. And mm -hmm. then I find myself like, power walking down the street. Road rage, <laughs> get out of my way! Okay, that's not very <laughs> yoga. What's the hardest part of teaching for you? Um, I don't know, I think it depends on the day. I take my practice and my teaching day by day. Hmm. So it really depends, you know, sometimes I'm human and I have a bad day. Or I just don't want to talk. <laughs> and I have to. I feel still. that. And he said something like, some days I'm not in the mood or my body's not in the mood. And I'm like, that's not hard. Why do you teach yoga? Yeah, I was just super depressed. <laughs> to be real, like super depressed. And the practice saved me. Yeah, be the change, right? Yoga, yoga changes everything about how you see yourself in the world, how you see the world. And if every single human on the planet practiced yoga, we would not have the situation that we are in. I have grown so much through my own practice and imparting that to other people is like the greatest gift. I think purpose and intentionality overall, so probably everything that has been mentioned. I think maybe you are right. I think, I think I'm right. <laughs> I thought you were Thank right you. too. Her response was shorter than everyone else's. He was a little bit quieter. People who hold their cards close to the chest uh, makes me a little, a little sucks. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. Fine, that's why we're here. <laughs> You're currently teaching. Yes. Do you teach? I teach. In person? In online. person. Where at? Hot eat yoga. Hot. I teach on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. Okay. What about you? On just my online. Own right now, yeah. Nice. What about you? The same. And I just spent a month uh, driving across the country to move here, <laughs> so I was not teaching during then. Oh, you guys, I wonder why we all raised our hands. I know. I know. I'm blaming you, Leo. You're all like me. Yeah. I'm like, shush now. We were almost there. Um, fine, let's do this. When was your first yoga class ever? Leo's asking a lot of the questions and not answering a lot of the questions, which makes me think that now that we're only down to four people, he's getting kind of nervous. First yoga class, 2008. I walked in and then walked out going, this is for old ladies. I am not interested. <laughs> yeah. And then I came back a year later, got my butt kicked in a level two, three class and never stopped going. <laughs> I did high school uh, yoga, which I also thought was like loadable shit. <laughs> like what are like, you know, it was no we talk about what like it spiritually meant. Like, why are yeah. we doing this? <laughs> and then my friend convinced me to go to class uh, later and it was like a completely different experience. A lot of stuff. Oh. <laughs> that answer actually confirmed to me that Jess was the mole. It was not a very realistic answer, in my opinion. We have a tie. Leo and Jess. I will give each of you 
15 seconds. Okay, uh, I took my first class when I was in high school. I fell in love with the practice. I've been practicing for about 10 years. Four different teacher trainings, um, from arm balances to vinyasa to hatha. You can name poses all day long, but if you don't understand the heart of the practice, I don't think you're really a teacher, I'm sorry. Kaylin and Natanya deliberate and come up with a final vote. Please raise your hand if you want to continue playing the game. If the lights turn green, that means you have voted out the mole and you win. If the lights turn red, that means the mole is still in the box and you lose. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Will the fake yoga instructor please step forward and reveal yourself in three, two, one. Okay, I'm glad I stuck that out. No, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh I want you yeah. to like, I knew take that. my smelly shoes, put them <laughs> in there. Guys, I'm sorry I lied to you. <laughs> I am very passionate about it. And so it's a dream of mine to one day become a yoga instructor. You stop lying once you do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Promise. Um, that is the end of the game, but we want to thank you all for participating and give you all a gift. Oh, no. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And you guys did make a wrong decision, so I'll take half out. Wait, How do you know that's half? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got the skin! <laughs>